Hey guys, Chris and Gina here, back with another project. This time it is a vintage paper moon photo op. Yeah, these things are really cool. I didn't even realize they existed until I started looking at pictures. Oh yeah, I've seen these in old 1920s, 30s movies. They were really popular. The Winchester wanted to kind of have a 1920s feel in the as a, like a pre-party to their haunt. It's a 1920s housewarming. The couple is just moving into the Winchester, so they're having a huge party out on the front lawn, and it was kind of a fun way for the guests who came. So after we looked at all of our inspiration pictures, it was time to figure out how we're gonna make this. Are we gonna carve it like all the way around so it looks like Mac tonight? Like, <laughs> or is it gonna be uh, just a flat back? And I actually came across a simple design from a prop house that rents one of these and it had a little box in the back and I was like, hey, let's make it like that. Yeah, so we kind of compromised and not too flat, not too three dimensional, but kind of in between. And I think it came out perfectly. So we made up a quick drawing and then we projected that onto a piece of wood at nighttime and we drew the whole thing out on two sheets of three quarter inch plywood. This thing was big. I think it was eight feet tall. One of the things we thought would be cool is to hide the two sides of the boxes by some cloud covering. The next step was to take a jigsaw and just cut the whole shape out. Then to connect the two pieces of plywood, I just used a wide crown staple gun shot them together from both sides. One of the things I really liked about this design was matching the the seat to the contour of the moon. So I just cut some plywood framing. I thought it, it reminded me much of like making like a skateboard ramp type of thing. So I cut the pieces of plywood and then skinned it with a uh, piece of bender board over the top. The box was just a box, right? Yeah, it was like, I framed and made the box much like you would like a hope chest type of thing. Where Toy there was box a lid. or something. Yeah, yeah, lid fit inside there. And then once you take the lid off, we made it to where you could put some sandbags inside of it just to give some extra Security. Security and safety so it doesn't tip over, but it was so heavy. It was. We didn't need to worry about that, so it was just overkill. Obviously, we wanted to make this thing easy for transport and for storage, so we made the moon detach from the bench, and to do that, I put some insert nuts in there, and then you could through bolt it through the inside of the box. Because everything we make has to be modular. That's right. <laughs> One of these days, we'll get to build on site. <laughs> Using a hot wire, I cut our foam pieces down to about four to six inches thick and then attached it to the plywood using expanding spray foam. Once we were happy with all the foam sculpture, we hard coated it with a foam safe epoxy. And then we wanted to give it kind of like a texture like you'd see on the surface of the moon. And we thought the mortar mixture that we use on our tombstones would be perfect. So we sprayed that on. Now that it had texture, it was awesome because it gave me an awesome base to paint on. So I did a light yellow, then I went back in and highlighted with some darker yellow around the features of the craters and the eyes and the nose and the mouth and all of that. And then I added a little bit of pink and then of course some white and some other things and shading just to give it some other color. And then the clouds were white and gray. Now you didn't want to go too dark with the uh like the lip and the, the, the cheeks and the eyeballs. No, just a hint of it, just a hint for this one. There were so many options to do and I kind of did a little bit of in between for this one. So just enough to give it a hint. He's got some big dimples. <laughs> As soon as Gina mentioned about Paper Moon and sculpting and stuff, all I could think of is McDonald's Mac tonight. <laughs> I wanted to do that, but I know his sunglasses wouldn't have looked right <laughs> with those. <laughs> Not for this one. Just for some extra support, we added a little brace to the back in case anyone leaned on this. But I think it was big enough to have like at least three adults sit on yeah, it, Yeah, right? yeah, lots of people. It was fun seeing Instagram posts of people taking their picture and getting to see it. And then people did it in black and white, which was kind of cool too. No, I absolutely love this project. It was one of my favorite builds for the season. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. We really super appreciate it. We have lots of other projects coming your way. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.